Welcome back team, here we are celebrating summer in the tropics and nothing says tropics or summer more to me than a super ripe and very, very fragrant and delicious pineapple. And I have a cracking recipe for you today. This whole wood roasted pineapple with pepper caramel and cane farmer's licorice ice cream. The best bit about it is we're just gonna throw this pineapple whole in the oven. Boom, put it straight in and just let it roast until it's fully black and carbonized on the outside. So let's get cooking. You need to choose a really ripe pineapple. If you're at the market or the supermarket, pick them up, have a smell. They should be really, really yellow like that and start to actually feel like they're full of juice. Choose a roasting tray with plenty of room so the pineapples can get the heat all around them and pop them in the oven. If you're not a fan of licorice ice cream, this is definitely not for you. The Cane Farmer's licorice ice cream is a ripper of a recipe that doesn't rely on commercially produced licorice. It embodies the same exotic and awesome flavor, but with a combination of spices and molasses, some incredible local milk. First things first, we need to toast the spices. Anise seeds and some star anise, cassia bark, fennel seeds, cloves and some licorice root. Next we need to infuse the toasted spices into milk and ideally we would let this sit for three hours once it's come not to a complete boil but till it's warmed right up and give the infusion an opportunity to really take on the beautiful perfume and scent of those spices. Add activated charcoal powder and this will help give the licorice ice cream that notorious colour. Now for a sauce for the pineapple I've got some water, some of these dried old vanilla bean pods. I also saved some passion fruit seeds. Last time I made a passion fruit ice cream and just put them in the dehydrator and they're gonna add a little bit of sourness to this sauce. So they can go in there as well. Palm sugar. Nice dark brown palm sugar. Gonna echo some of those licorice flavors. Some toasted Szechuan peppercorns will go into that sauce as well. So while the infusion's happening of the milk, we can start the actual base of the ice cream. So I've got 1.2 litres of Mangali milk, 1.2 litres of thick cream, 14 grams of salt, 120 grams of skim milk powder, 60 grams of glucose, 200 grams of molasses which really gives the ice cream its brute force. So that needs to go onto the stove to warm up and become homogenized. Separate 12 eggs so that we can put the yolks into our custard. Whisk the 12 egg yolks with 300 grams of caster sugar, which is stuck to my jar, that's okay. Whisk those until they're thick and ribbony, pale and ribbony, and the sugar is almost all completely dissolved. You can do that figure of eight. Pour over the hot molasses, milk and cream back into the eggs and then quickly give them a whisk back into the pot to cook out the anglaise. I've got the hot cream, milk, molasses, sugar, glucose and salt. Those spices are ready to go. The milk's been infused and the decadence of that perfume is just, it really is just incredible. The spiced milk now has to be strained and then added to the anglaise and cooked out on the stove. And you can see that really amazing purple color that comes from the charcoal. It 
extract as much of that beautifully perfumed juice as we possibly can. Mm. Now to cook the anglaise out to 80 degrees on the stove until the yolks are set and pasteurized. Now that sauce is definitely ready to go. You can tell that the peppercorns have bloomed, the passion fruit seeds have bloomed, and the vanilla's given off its spunk and spice. Mm, yum. The only thing I would suggest is it needs a little more salt, and I've got some spice salt here that you might have seen on another video. Just salt with cinnamon and clove and star anise, and that'll just help balance out the sweetness and a little bit of sourness that's there from the passion fruit seeds. Strain that and get it in a pot ready to go. Oh, look at that. You could actually dehydrate or roast off that, the solids again and actually make a really interesting spice out of that. And then we'll put the sauce into a pot on the stove to keep warm. You can see all the beautiful vanilla seeds in the sauce. And it has that fantastic toffee-like color. So the pineapples are ready to go. And you can tell because they're absolutely carbonated that they're bubbling and the sugar is toffied on the outside. Almost like a burnt toffee apple really important that the anglaise is stirred all the way through so that it doesn't get scrambled eggs, egg bits in it. It's good to go. Strain, strain the anglaise. Beautiful cane farmer's licorice anglaise or custard, and that needs to be cooled down so you can put it through your ice cream machine. If you're a licorice lover, give this a go. It is absolutely delicious. Time to cut one of these guys open. Look at that, you can see it's just sticky and caramelized. Look at the texture of that ice cream. It's a special one. I love these flavors together. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the pineapple is just so pineapple-y. And the pepper caramel has that cold fire that only Szechuan pepper can bring. And the spiced ice cream is really strong and luxurious. So delicious. That tastes like summer in far north Queensland. Spicy, caramelly, a little bit sour from the passion fruit seeds, but the pineapple doesn't get any more pineapple-y. Yum. What a ripper of a dish. Great as a dessert. Shit, I'd eat this for breakfast. Catch you next time, team.